you know, just cruising through, knock out a trail, just to enjoy the great outdoors, man. Tell me about the truck. The truck is a, a F-150 with a year. Oh, this is a 2019 F-150 Lariat. Lariat. Yeah. Yeah. See, at first I was calling them uh, Lariat. I didn't know how to pronounce it because I'm a Chevy guy. Oh, okay. I can see how you be messed up with the reading if you're a Chevy dude. I get that. Because <laughs> technically you have to be less intelligent to have a Chevy. It's not to get the four. I mean, you see now having a four for a while. What is it? What is it? What, what, what do you think? I mean, I think it's cool, man. I mean, you know, it's a brand new truck. Regardless, I mean, you can get any brand new truck yeah, right that's now. That's the X truck. You can get any brand new truck right now and be, and be happy with it. You, know? you could you could have had any truck, but you picked this. I didn't. This is this is not my truck. Who truck is? This is the wife's truck. Which is your better half? Through right. contrast, right? You picked four. The point is this: <laughs> we out here where Chevys can't go. I'll be out here in my Chevy. Yeah, we need to get that. We need to get you in the, uh, the dirt bag joint. Yeah. What you call the uh, black one? Uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I ain't made a name. What did that call before? The, the Tahoe. I don't think I gave it a name. Yeah, I already took drag in one Civic. So. Yeah, Black Mamba, Monte Carlo. Okay. And the, uh... Fiona. Yeah, yeah, her truck is... Uh, see? See? Fiona. <laughs> this is not my truck. That's a name someone comes up with love, dude. Yeah. Fiona. Yeah. He actually came up with a name. Really? He's wow. And I was like, you know what? I, like that. I was I'm just drinking. joking, though. That was the thing. Oh, it's stuck, it's man. Man. That's a big fish, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fiona's a big girl name. I don't know. I was just saying, it's just, this is a... Yeah, so... <laughs> yeah, some fun. When we out on doing trails and stuff, I put it in a four automatic. It's got two high, four automatic, four high, and four low. And uh, you can shift it on the fly. It'll the computer works it out. Mm. Yeah. Man, ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Oh. yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Man, they give me one of these. Hey, they're giving them away right now. Shit, I'm mad. I bought this one when I did. Yeah, they doing bad right now. Yeah, they 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 actually. They damn near paying people to take. Them. I think it's like zero percent, zero percent interest for like eighty four months. That's a good deal. Yeah, I'm going on the dope car, dope things. If I do get me something uh, off roadable, it'll be a, a cash bucket. Wow, here at dirt bag, I need to need me a four, uh, uh, either a four wheel or a dirt bike. <sighs> you gonna wanna? Well, since you're shooting and shit cameras and everything, you probably don't want a four wheeler. Because you're not gonna be out here hauling ass and dirt bagging for real. Mm-hmm. Trying to get, you you wanna go somewhere you wanna something that you can go into little tight trails and get the good pictures. Mm. A good utility a good utility four wheeler do you get it. Like yeah. a Polaris? Uh those are more a little more expensive. They, well Polaris usually makes I haven't even seen a Polaris uh four wheeler. I don't know. Maybe they got them, but usually the players I've seen are like sit-in buggies, you know, but and maybe they got them. I don't know. I, I'm not a Polaris guy. You know what I mean? they just expensive, man. The dog on Polaris will run you like a car. You know? I ain't interested. Yeah, you talking about $20,000 for a good four-seater or, uh, shit, really the, the high-end two-seaters. You know? Yeah, so you just get a regular dirt bike or a regular... Yeah. I should be able to find a used one for like fifteen hundred, right? Oh yeah, especially during the Corona apocalypse when ain't nobody working and people got toys they willing to sell to be able to pay that food bill or pay the rent, you know, stuff like that. But it's a pretty country. It's gonna get hairy up here eventually. Uh, I'm telling you, you better have something where you can go and get away. You know, because the go around is liable to turn to get down around this mud uh, real quick. 
they keep talking about extending it, extending it. You know, I don't want to get into that because YouTube be hating. Yeah. You know, but just know you need to be prepared. <laughs> you know, this is like like Mars out here. Oh yeah, yeah. I think they filmed uh, the Martian in California desert, in Mojave desert, desert somewhere. I believe. Now I might, I could be completely wrong, but I mean the way it looks. Yeah, because they usually show show uh, uh, marks and stuff with red rock like that. Yeah. And then, you know, they got the, the filters for the camera and all that. High speed, high speed. Oh, super high speed stuff. High speed, low drag. So you don't have to, to, to lower your air pressure? Nah, man. This, this trail is not... We ain't crawling no rocks. This is more or less like a scenic dirt road. You know? More or less like a scenic dirt road. See? Other folks out here shooting. America! <laughs> you can belly out. Oh, yeah. It's hot enough. You know the temperature is outside right now. Oh, shoot. It ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? Oh, getting shaky up here. Yeah. This is a little trail, man. Get you to lean a little bit, rock a little bit, shake you around a little bit. Make you feel like you... Because, I mean, this thing is sitting on, like, factory wheels and tires, bro. It's not lifted. It's got good enough ground, ground clearance for what we're going. But I wouldn't take this out to Moab. <laughs> you know, crazy. Moab, Utah. I wouldn't go there with it. But, I mean, you know, I could be going a little faster, but... Chilling, man. That's what that's what being out here is all about. You know, just hanging out and uh, chill. You know, you you won't want to be around a bunch of people. You know, there's a whole bunch of places. This is this is Nevada, man. There's so much dirt out here that you could, man. You can get lost out here and just chill. You can come out here. You can camp out here. You know, you can uh, you do all kinds of stuff. I've seen people, I've drove this same trail a few times and seen people off in the distance uh, with a little campfire. I'm pretty sure that was pretty illegal, but, you know, <clears throat> I don't know. You know, I don't care. I feel You're like, if you, I mean, what's going to burn out here in the dirt? You know what I mean? It's not, I don't even think that's really enough bushes to really keep a fire going. To keep a fire going, but you never know, though. I'm not a firefighter, so I could be completely wrong about that. You know, but... I don't know. It's beautiful. I, just, I like coming out here because there's nobody out here. You know what I mean? Like, I can come out here and take my $1,800 Craigslist 4x4 special. <laughs> you know, I haul ass through here. You know. But this truck, I can't I can't afford to fix it. Yeah. You know, these I mean, new trucks, they're going to charge to fix. Yeah, I mean, this thing ain't even got 10,000 miles on it yet. We, we have our fun with it, but this is the... But as much as you're doing. Yeah, I'm not about to... Nah, I ain't about to risk that. That's a rock. No, that shit was moving. Oh, then we're gonna keep it moving, too. That was like a, like a lizard or something. It was like that big. Oh, okay. You wanna go back and look at it? No, I'm good. Oh, okay, good. Because I'm I don't... Yeah. There's some shit out of here, man, that'll do you. What are the poison and stuff out here? Like, what's, I okay. got scorpions and there's scorpions out here. There's uh, snakes, rattlers, desert rattlers. Uh, you know, they should be popping right now. It's getting hot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, scorpions are real. Yep. See the scorpions in your house. You already know what it is. That's what people will say, like right next to you. Yeah. There ain't no way to. Uh, you know, proof your house. Not really. Not now, man. Just gotta watch out. Keep, keep, yeah. Keep animals. Animals. Yeah. And, uh, what's the name? I'll let you know. Your animal will let you know. Too. Because they'll, they'll find them before you will. Yeah. You got a cat or a fucking, some kind of, you know, a dog. Try to pick with it. Bearded dragon. Something like that. That'll eat them. Bearded dragon. What's that? It's a lizard. Oh, man. So it's a reptile. Like, I don't know if it's classified as a lizard, but it's called a bearded dragon. Google it. 
but uh, <laughs> yeah, we will yeah. tell you. Yeah, they eat all kinds of wild shit. Yeah, look at these views, man. You can't beat it, and it don't cost nothing. Maybe some gas money, you know, and the right vehicle. That's pretty much it. You can come out here. I've been out here plenty of times and sat out here and watched the sun go down, watched the sun come up. You know, shoot a little bit. Why do you think people don't don't uh come out and think like this more often? I don't think people, here's the thing, <clears throat> a lot of people just don't know, you know, a lot of people just, they don't have the vehicle, most people buy cars, Yeah. you know, they do get something there, they're scared to bring it into some stupid stuff, yeah, and they're not, they're not, uh, uh, they're just not uh, exposed to it, yeah, we really weren't exposed to the outdoors like that, yeah, up. I mean, we're from the city and the projects, and you know what I mean? We wanted a hot car because the only thing around us was streets. True. You know? I know. Yeah. Well, you got to go camping in that? Yeah. I, I think it's, it's, it's a... It's a cultural thing. Yeah, it's a cultural thing. I was trying to make it sound like it's a cultural thing. Because it's like, I'd be like, man, I want to go out there. And then it's like, I'm kind of apprehensive of coming out here, but I'm okay in the hood. It's like it's so backwards. Yeah. Like you should be apprehensive about going there. Yeah. Now here you're thinking the hills have eyes. You know, yeah. You're all because, over the place. But think about this though. Okay. How you look at out here, what 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 you said you you, you what you when you think about coming out here, you said mo, uh, uh mainstream media shit, the hills have movies and yeah. da 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 da, right? And you're like, nah, I ain't messing with that. Now imagine how people feel about coming to the hood and the only thing they see is the media yeah that's why you know what I mean it's, it's the media it's the media it's, it's what you if the only thing you know about lions is National Geographic you don't mess with lions then you don't mess with lions like I mean that's just what it is but then there are people who at the zoos and all that they be sitting there oh he just ain't about to go give him a hug and, you know what I mean like <laughs> you know and they're the zookeepers and they know about these things so it's all about what you know you know, it's all about, you know, what you're exposed to, you know? Yeah, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get out of here a little bit more, you know? Yeah. I wonder what's where, above that. If you're here now, uh, I don't know. I would take this truck up there because I don't know what's on the other side of it. I don't want to back back down. I don't know. You know, if I had a dirt bike, I'd go up there and let you know. <laughs> you know Should have bought a dirt bike this time. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm buy some toys. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. See, there's there's tools for this. There's always tools. For this. You know, for whatever you're doing, there's a there's a there's a tool for it. That doesn't seem too bad. Nah, this ain't bad. This is a scenic dirt road, bro. This ain't even really. I mean, it's off roading because it ain't paved, but it's not real off road. <laughs> you know, unless you can. Yeah. It's chill. And you know what? You know what's not out here? What? Trauma. Mm. You know, it can happen. Things can pop off out here with other people out here, but the chances of that are, you know, slim to none, really. Because most people who come out here have the same mindset. It's getting away from trauma. It's just getting away from, yeah, you know, so we're just out here. And most people, you know, it'd be so hot out here. They, everybody's in their vehicles. Or they're outside of their vehicles and they're shooting or whatever. But I mean, people are more polite around guns anyway. Oh, of course. Of course. Why do you think when uh, in the wild, wild west, back in the day, you see the old movies, people were nicer to each other? You know why? Because everybody was armed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're less inclined to piss somebody off if you realize that there's a good chance of a gunfight. You know? That's one, you know, one round of duty. Yeah, of whatever caliber. Should be good, you know. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah, this is chill. You got some idiots out here dumping stuff out here, man. Sometimes I come out here and I, you know, if I find something useful, I'll take it. You know, something to shoot at. You know, at least you can reuse it. Yeah. Uh, I don't need it.
observing the terrain, bro. Man, it's a cool little ride. You know, the main reason for these trails really is the maintenance for these power lines. Mm. You know, I mean, they, these, these are marked off road trails, but I'm just saying, like, there's also service, like, where that sign right there where it says authorized vehicles only. Yeah. Like, you can go that way, but you're just gonna end up at the, the foot of one of these power lines, and then you have to turn around and come back, you know? Mm. So, so it's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see how, you know, dirt bikes out here, you got fun. Oh, yeah, I done rode this whole trail. I rode this whole trail on the, uh, Honda CRF 125F. Too easy. Had some fun. I think who is up there? I think this is a, uh, let's go this way. Because I think I've been here before. If not, we'll just come back. But, uh, I think it's a good view right here. I think we went shooting up here one time. Take some good scenic view pictures. Make it your little dirt bike backpack with your camera bag. Ride out, you know. There are people. There are people who like. There's every level of budget with outdoors. You know what I mean? Like you got the sports guys who have like off-road dirt bikes. Then you got the guys with the off-road dirt bikes, but they're street legal. You know what I mean? The dual sports. They call dual sports. They're like they're like motorcycles. They're dirt bikes with lights and turn signals and tag. You know what I mean? You can drive it to work. Yeah, you can drive it to work. You can drive across the country, and there's one for every budget. You know what I mean? Like it's like the BMW joint. Yeah, there's BMW ones. There's Yamaha. There's one from every one of the big four. Yeah, it's a big market for that kind of stuff. I think I'm gonna look into it. I, I love to have you. I think on Euro. I love to have one of those. I can drive on the street, but then I can go out here and I'll snap. Yeah, see, they out here. No message. Yeah. They got camp stuff back there. Yeah, they chilling, man. You see, those are the most older folks. You know, they out here minding their own business. Dipped off from the grandkids. You know? <laughs> well, they blow out. Kids is grown. Take your kids, take your... They tell their kids to take the kids with you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Corona apocalypse done. Hey, neighbors retired anyway. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they were not going to be able to go to work. Wasn't planning on it. <laughs> right. Wasn't planning on doing that. No. Gas tank mounted bag carriers. 
Yeah, they do Moab with bikes. Yeah, they do Moab with bikes. Yeah, Matter of fact, there's a few trails at Moab that you can only do with a bike. They're single tracks. Like you see up, up ahead, the dual track, mm -hmm. you know, they're single track trails. And so you can't even get through there with a truck. That's why it's always good to have, you know, more than one option. And also having a dirt bike. Let's say we're out here right now and oh snap, you know, there's a problem, mm -hmm. you know, whatever, something I can't fix. I got the, I got the dirt bike. And I can still, you know, dirt bag it back. Yeah, go, you know, either get somewhere where there's a signal or, uh, or, uh, you know, go back and get my other vehicle. You know, it is what it is. Go back, go back, dirt bag into the house, get my tools, get my other truck, come back out, you know. Yeah, it makes sense. Something like that. Think about it. It's always good to have modes of transportation. <laughs> I mean, because I don't know if you noticed, this is a long walk. <laughs> yeah, serious walk. Yeah, it's the only trail what you're going to do. Yeah, when you come out here, you got to make sure you got water, make sure you got food, whatever. So it's like you can, you can go. You can go three. I say you can survive, like literally just be alive off, what is it, three weeks worth of without food? But you can only go three days without water. You gotta have water. You gotta have water. You know, that's why I bought that extra water with us. Yeah. Yeah. Got to have water. It's like to be out here drinking the own urine and crap. Yeah. Watching the little uh, survivor thing. They do some wild stuff to survive, man. Hey. People, people don't don't respect how real that word is. Survive. That just means stay alive. And that's some serious stuff, man. You know, just, just stay. I mean, when you get to the point where you gotta survive, a lot of people throw that word around without the gravity and respect behind it. You know, when somebody say they out here surviving, and they usually talk about, oh, I gotta get this amount of money. And da, da 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 da, which is true. That's a form of survival, but that's not actual survival. Yeah, you know, but finding animals to eat. Yeah, you know, in the cold and the heat. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 These black rocks are lava rocks. What? 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 what, 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 what I don't know. But that's I think I think that's what they call they black and they they get pitted. You know. You'll see them. You know, but look at the mountain. You know? So that used to be a mountain. I don't know what it used to be. I'm just, I'm, just glad, I'm just glad it ain't one right now. And if it is, I'm glad it ain't going yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. Because we'll really find out what they can do if that mountain starts smoking. <laughs> I'm going to get busy out here. Fuck this shit on the mountain. <laughs> what you going to do with that? I rode the dirt bike through here, almost ate it. I think it was like right over here too. I came up, I hit this little mound right here, and then there's a turn to the right, and I was not ready. And I had to hit the brake. That back tire was sliding. I had my foot out, leaning all over the dog on gas tank, trying to make it. And that, and that dirt bike is not my size; like it's too small. You know, I bought it for I bought it for the kids, but. Big. Oh yeah, sir. <laughs> what does it cost? Like I said, it's gonna do everything for the commercial. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. 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 That was fun. I don't know how to get used to. I gotta, you know, be, become an outdoors, and I have to get to that point. The only thing about this is uh, with with off roading, it was just like any other form of driving. As long as you know where your tires are. You know, you can pick your lines and see, uh, you know, see where you're gonna go. See where you're, see where each tire is gonna go, left and right. So you pick your lines and you can see, okay, it's clear. I mean, this is obvious because it's a trail. But you know, I've been in, I've been on out there just cutting new trails, and you got to dodge big rocks and stuff like that. Ground clearance is the key. Good tires is the key. Four by four is essential. You know what I'm saying? Mm 
me show you the view up here. Check the view out from up here. Yeah, this thing is cool. This is my favorite chest. Shoot me a 3 OJ Mayo. Want me like TV connecting, no cable. Turn the table. If you get out of line, then we making them feelings. Still make a little nigga roll like some Heelys. Pussy got smoke like a Vic, he get silly. Just got a new poke, cause these niggas is fish. We out of control, and we change his position. Don't cross the line if we see him, we bliss. Been told you this shit was coming to Simpson. Been had that bitch and she come with assistance. Stood on my tins and ain't come with assistance. I never been bitch, I come with assistance. Got a Big Mac and it came with a combo. Got a small bitch and it came with a Volvo. Got a few problems, it came with revolvers. Feel like a zombie, I came with the crawlers. No GTA, but I been with the ballers. I was a child listening to the car. Just a youngin' from Maryland, we came out the dungeon when shit gettin' unchy. Just pack a punch. These niggas is terrible, try take on the school nigga. Perp in the morning, he died to lunch. No, I ain't basic, I do my own stunts. I like to chase my gelato with runs. I'm sipping endless mimosas at brunch. She don't need smoke, but she focus on blunt eight. If she a snack, I'ma snack on the lunch break. She makes her Fendi with fancy and grunge. I'm in the back of the trap on the one way. Club going up on the day after Monday. Smoke out the KO. Pop me a perk, got me feeling like Fabo. Wake up, I shoot me a 3 OJ Mayo. Want me like TV connecting, no cable. Turn the table. If you get out of line, then we making them feelings. Still make a little nigga roll like some Heelys. Pussy got smoke like a Vic, he get silly. Just got a new poke, cause these niggas is fishy. 